My name is Tyson McMurrin. I am your presenter today. And um, today we're covering off e-commerce um, integration with SAP Business One. And uh, I just want to step through a few slides to kind of talk about what we're seeing um, in the SAP Business One space right now. Um, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about, um, you know, how, how we can help you um, achieve a, a really good integration solution. So a few of the key ideas that I want um, you to take away today is um, that COVID-19 has certainly accelerated um, company shifts to a digital strategy um, and the business models are really changing. Uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of uh, choke supply chain right now, um, customers wanting to order different ways um, and companies out there right now are really looking for platforms that are affordable, dependable, flexible, and also repeatable. So you might have multiple different brands that you want to put out on different platforms and you need the ability to integrate all these different platforms, microsites, um, all the different sales channels that you might be doing e-commerce on um, back into SAP Business One and you really want a kind of a single platform to do that and that's ultimately what BizWeaver will allow you to do is have that single platform that allows you to connect to whatever the platform, the digital um, e-commerce platforms that you're using. Um, the other thing that I do want to highlight is that BizWeaver is more than just an e-commerce tool and you'll see a little bit of that um, when we get into the, into the presentation today. So a little bit about Third Wave. Um, for over 25 years, Third Wave Business Systems has been working with customers like you to get more out of your ERP system. As the original SAP Business One Gold Partner in North America, we work hard to help you grow and thrive in a digital world. So our whole passion is around technology and our focus is really around your success. Um, so one of the big things that's important to note here is that we are not just a um, SAP Business One tool um, developer. Um, we are an SAP Business One reseller as well. So we use the tools that we're, that we're showing you um, to help our customers um, that are both um, with other partners and also with us. So we work as both a software solution partner and as a value-added reseller working directly with customers. So however you want to um, consume um, BizWeaver as a tool for you, we can, we can enable you to do that. Now, I just want to kind of step through a couple slides that talk about, you know, where we were, what the pandemic has done, and how um, e-commerce has kind of come to the forefront from this. So pre-COVID, um, the Association of SAP's user group um, sent out a survey to SAP Business One customers, and um, only 43% of the customers indicated that they've made significant progress in making their business digital. Now, obviously this was um, pre-COVID, and this was kind of interesting that it was only 43%, and I thought, you know, that's a little low. But then um, I did a little bit more research around this, and we noticed that Deloitte was coming in with some digital transformation um, studies, and that 80% of customers were not taking full advantage of a um, digital transformation. 25% said it's not, re not relevant for my business. Um, most of the use cases were around sales and marketing. 17% um, of the companies perceived um, internal cost efficiency benefits. So, um, so really they didn't see the value in, in you know, transforming their business digitally. And surprisingly, 77% of the users surveyed um, are using digital tools in their personal life. So it wasn't moving over into the SME space. Um, so what that typically looked like was the um, pursuit for paperless processes. But when we would go in and meet with customers, this is what we were seeing, was a lot of paper, a lot of transposition, um, rip and read, exporting, emailing, key and email. Um, and all of this was causing a speed bump to get um, the information into the system of record. So things like, um, things like available inventory and all of these different things, um, forecasts, 
all of that was was lagging because we didn't have visibility into information in a real time. Um, so the goal the goal originally on digital transformation was to eliminate paper. Um, so one of the things that I started looking into is did the pandemic change this? And interestingly enough, um, you know, the number of companies that are actually um, seeing themselves as digitally transformed um, remains the same. But what's really interesting is, is that half the companies surveyed are very interested in, um, in looking into digital transformation. Um, here at Third Wave, we're seeing this based off of the number of projects and estimates that we're providing surrounding connecting and um, automating things like e-commerce. Um, and this webinar is a perfect example. Um, this is our largest registration for a webinar ever in our 25 years. So, um, so obviously, um, this digital observer area um, is, is certainly at the forefront of, of what's going on. And um, this survey actually came back and said that 93% of the companies are more reliant on technology. But this is what we're seeing is you still have this speed bump. So customers have changed the way that they want to transact. Um, employees have changed where, where they want to work from. And um, companies just hastily implemented digital tools to assist with that shift. So um, the disparity continues, um, but the paper's kind of been eliminated. So now the rip and read is from, you know, Teams messages or from a Shopify or from a Fulfill by Amazon report um, or from Salesforce. And the other big thing that we're seeing in the marketplace right now is um, supply chain. And a lot of our customers are buying their suppliers or they're buying their competitors. So um, there's a, a big need for the ability to handle intercompany transactions as well. Um, and the good news is that um, BizWeaver can help you with that as well. So this is kind of where, where we see kind of the state right now is that, um, you know, the, the, the paper may have been eliminated, but the rip and read and rekey um, export import um, processes are alive and well. Um, but there was certainly this shift towards a digital technology. Um, so we at Third Wave, we believe in the four C's. When I joined Third Wave Business Systems, um, I looked at what made us unique. And it was really around, you know, as I, as I said in our slide, you know, our, our passion is technology and our focus is customer success. And I realized that it wasn't just the fact that we are fully competent in, um, you know, delivering SAP Business One um, implementations. It was really around the fact that we understood that there was more to the business um, of processing information and and getting everything streamlined and everybody on the same page with the same data at the same time. And we came up with this concept of the four C's. Um, the first C obviously being core SAP Business One. Um, the second being connect, so the ability to connect to different platforms. Um, so things like 3PLs, LTLs, uh, CRM systems, e-commerce, EDI, all of those different connections um, requ are required. Um, streamlining the communication between users. So um, again, eliminating all that paper, um, you know, letting SAP Business One look for exceptions and communicate that way and ensuring that all of the processes that we're reviewing and streamlining are in control and meeting you know, the, the company's expectations of, of exactly what's within control. So when we look at a company that's kind of um, you know, in, embraced the four C's, um, the business is effectively mapped to the core system. All other systems are connected and automated. Anyone can communicate, access, update, or process data from anywhere while staying in sync with the core. And all parts of the business are in control with predictable results. So um, this is what I really think is, is third wave business systems um, uniqueness around how we approach helping you, the SAP Business One company, um, get more out of your system. So as, I, as we know, today we're talking about 
um, e-commerce integration with SAP Business One. These are kind of the main ones that we're seeing out there. Um, Amazon, Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce. Um, those are kind of the ones that are rising to the forefront. But we also um, see, you know, Magento, um, some of these other um, custom custom websites that that companies are looking to integrate it to as well. And we at Third Wave, when we developed um, Bizweaver as an integration tool, um, what we what we wanted to do is create an environment where data flowed in sync with the physical activities hap happening and maintaining control over that process. So again, you know, that connect and control. Um, so we also wanted to be able to connect to all different types of platforms. So not just e-commerce, not just CRM. So, and as I mentioned at the beginning, you know, it's e-commerce, CRM, EDI, 3PL, shipping and logistics, travel and expense management. So, you know, all of, all of these are the areas that you're going to see BizWeaver really kind of be able to help you as a business um, connect and integrate. Today for my webinar, I'm going to be focused on showing you how we connect and how we work with Shopify. Um, I could have chosen any of the other um, e-commerce platforms, but I chose Shopify just because their their demo site is pretty easy to get set up and and um, and um, to perform a transaction on. So. Why Bizweaver for an e-commerce integration? Well, Bizweaver has some key advantages over a pure integration project or product. Um, things like pre-processing, SAP transaction automation, being able to connect to multiple database environments, data validations, and error, error handling are all built directly into the product. Bizweaver was built with the input of our SAP Business One consultants with the pure intention of, you know, making sure that SAP Business One customer leverages um, all of the SAP technologies available to them. So what we ultimately do is eliminate the risk associated with integration projects to SAP Business One, making the integration transparent, predictable, and eliminating the risk of failure and providing you a low cost of ownership. So that's what BizWeaver does, and it's it's done through you know these these tool sets, and, and I'll be demonstrating that today um, as we go through the presentation. So how do we do this? Well, we use drag and drop um, workflow technology that's um, designed to connect to all different types of platforms in order to um, to do to do your your transactions. Now, when we talk about e-commerce integrations. Um, the e-commerce integrations, not all of them are the same. So I call it kind of the integration iceberg where, you know, any kind of integration tool or project is going to be able to kind of, you know, handle the integration of items, orders, payment, fulfillment. Um, but many of them aren't going to match your SAP data or your SAP workflows. Um, you're not going to have flexibility to adjust the integration if you get an off the shelf um, product um, and a lot of times you're only able to connect to a single um, connection or you have to buy a whole bunch of different um, database connectors in order to connect to all the different sales channels that you might be selling through. So um, BizWeaver is really built around as I mentioned you know built by SAP consultants for SAP Business One customers and we really provide flexibility around um, giving you that low cost of ownership. Um, so when looking at integrations, you spent a lot of time evaluating SAP Business One as the, as the ERP solution for your company. Um, we encourage you to do the same when you're looking at integration tools um, and projects because um, it's, it's looking below the surface. Um, is where you're going to be able to eliminate a lot of risk around integration projects and you're going to have transparency around exactly um, what it is that you're looking to do. So without further ado, um, I'm going to go into the actual presentation now and I'm going to show you, um, show you kind of how all this pulls together. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to close all these um, 
web pages that were the go-to webinar and me trying to get all that to work. And I'm just going to go into the back end of my Shopify um, website. So this is where I can um, keep track of my orders. And this is what I'm talking about where, um, you know, currently a lot of our customers are doing like the export, um, taking that and then rekeying this data. And then when they're adding products into um, into the system, you're um, importing them in. So um, the ability to integrate all this together into a single platform, um, hopefully by the end of today's presentation, you see how um, all that can work for your business. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna um, take off my back office um, web administrator hat and I'm going to go into the Shopify store here and I'm in as a customer and I'm going to buy an item. Um, so this is where I'm simply just going to um, pick up an item here and I'm going to add it to my cart and I'm going to check out. So um, you know none of this is a big surprise to anybody um, nowadays because we've all ordered things on e-commerce and probably on a Shopify site. So um, here it's just going out, it's doing all the things that your e-commerce platform would do for you. Um, and this is where now we can continue to our payment. Um, you can write down my credit card number because this is a demo credit card. Um, so we're just gonna call this test credit card and put an expiry date here. And I'm just going to place this order now. So on the on the e-commerce side of things, you know, all this is fairly um, straightforward. Um, you know, the customer experience side of things, um, you know, Shopify is going to deal with most of that for you. So, you know, the automation of things like the email alert. Um, all of those types of things are going to happen. Over here on the Shopify side of things, if we refresh this page, um, we're going to have an order here that's unfulfilled now. So you can see that that's come in. Um, you know, Shopify will have sent me an email saying that my order is there. Um, and then what I'm going to do now is instead of me exporting that information or opening up this order, you know, opening up this order and rekeying this information into SAP. I'm going to show you how within SAP Business One using BizWeaver, we can get this order into the system. So to start with, I'm going to go into my environment and this is where I have my BizWeaver um, platform installed. And right now you can see I have all of my different types of um, BizWeaver workflows. Um, exposed over here and I'm focused right now on our Shopify um, area so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get um, those Shopify orders um, pulled down we're gonna look for duplicate orders we're gonna um, validate a bunch of information so this is where this workflow as I mentioned this is all drag and drop and the nice thing about this e-commerce um, solution that that you're seeing is that these workflows um, are all part of our standard configuration that that gives us a really good starting point to implement for you and all we would have to do is export these and then import them into your environment to have them running so essentially what happens is BizWeaver just goes out and it connects to Shopify. So you can see I have all different types of connections that, that are established, but we're connecting to Shopify and we're just going out and we're calling their API to get data. And as once as we call that data, um, one of the unique things about BizWeaver is the ability to go and read that data set. So this is where we can actually go and see um, the data that we're getting back and we can do things with this and this is where I was talking about the pre-processing so we have visibility to the data and now what we can do is we can loop we can look for duplicates we can make some decisions around things and then we can start to write 
this data set in. So I'm just going to run this workflow. Um, this is just going to take a second because what it's going to do is it's um, just going out, calling the data, um, and writing writing it into um, the table. And as you saw here, it says that it's going to add it, and then it's going to call a second workflow here. And that workflow is to get the orders into SAP. And this is where um, on that, um, on the, when I was talking about in the slides, we've made it really easy to do the integration because over here on the left, we have all of the objects that we've um, called down from Shopify. So we have all of these objects and all we do is we drag and drop them. And the nice thing is, is that we've given you this starting point. So you can see here that um, we have the document, we have the document line, and then we also have the addresses that we're writing in. We're calling the SAP um, DI API, uh, the DI server, or the service layer when we're calling this, and then we're doing an add. So we're leveraging all of the um, SAP technology. So it's very simple for us to go in and drag and drop and um, configure the connections. Um, and then behind the scenes, what will happen is we just simply run this and it's going out to Shopify and as it goes out to Shopify it's just it's you know getting that order number so order number 1125 and it's going to write that into SAP so if we go over into SAP business one here you can see that my last order was 1124 um, so the the integrations um, completed its task um, one of the things that you're seeing me do is click run, but you can see here that we can schedule these. Um, the other thing that we can do um, is we can have these um, triggered. So we can either have these workflows on a schedule, you know, that they go out and run every so often, or we can have them um, based off of a trigger when something happens to go out and, and execute that. So if I go to my last record here now, um, you can see here that we'll have a lot order 1125 in, in SAP Business One. Um, and then what we can do is we can simply copy this to um, a delivery. Oh, this was my delivery, sorry. Let's just make this nice and big for us here. So let's go into our sales order here and go to our um, most recent record here. And you can see there's our order 1125 for this item. And I'm going to copy this to a delivery here. And I'm just going to, you could use SAP Business One, um, you know, pick and pack. We could use our um, shipping integration, uh, ship easy solution. Um, and here I'm just going to put in, you know, how we shipped it. So all this is your standard SAP Business One transactions. I'm going to add this. And now this is where that two-way integration becomes really important because as once as that's happened, I can simply just run this workflow that goes out and tells Shopify that that order has been fulfilled. And then that's going to um, go out and um, write the delivery information into um, into Shopify and you can see here that it sent me an email already saying that that order is on the way um, and if we go into the Shopify back, back office side of things um, and refresh our browser you can see here that that order is now fulfilled. So we've eliminated the need to kind of be logged into um, your e-commerce platforms and being and monitoring them by being able to connect um, and integrate to them. So um, one of the things that I had up there um, at the beginning of this presentation is we're seeing a lot of clients that will have multiple channels that they're selling through. So they might be um, they might be using Shopify for um, a microsite. They might be using Magento for their main site. They might be using Big Commerce for their B two B. So the ability for us to be able to connect to all of those different types of um, environments and have the exact same 
you know, workflow technology, whether it's, you know, big commerce, as I just mentioned, um, or Shopify or WooCommerce, you know, we've, we've done all of the different types of website integrations. And then maybe for like FBA for, um, fulfilled by Amazon, um, you get your flat file and we need to be able to write in the sales to keep your inventory. We can do those types of things. Maybe you're using ShipStation or ShipWell um, along with the 3PL to do your fulfillments. We can send them the orders as well. Um, maybe you have intercompany where um, you get you get this order in, but then you need to place a purchase order immediately to a sister company. Um, so as once as you create the order, we can um, send the purchase order over to um, the sister company and that sister company will then drop ship. So all of these um, e-commerce strategies and, and um, sales channels are really kind of leveraged and automated using BizWeaver. And that's one of the main um, unique things about um, the BizWeaver um, platform is it's not just for a Shopify integration. It's not just for, um, you know, an EDI solution. Um, what we're giving you is a single platform that allows you to integrate to all different types of channels, um, tools, and partners. And that is ultimately um, the uniqueness around it. So um, from an e-commerce standpoint, um, if you're doing B2B and um, maybe Shopify, you're trying to see if Shopify will work for you and you're struggling with seeing um, how these e-commerce solutions work for you from a B2B standpoint, um, we do have some tools and, and um, products available to help you with evaluating a B2B solution. We have um, a Versago um, customer portal solution, and we also have an e-commerce solution that allows you to um, rapidly deploy um, and integrate into um, B2B solutions. Today we focused around um, the Shopify integration and just showing you how easy it is for us to integrate and automate. Um, but if you're looking to do any of this and you have questions, um, as you saw at the beginning of my presentation, you're not alone on this. Um, you know, like more than half of companies out there right now are looking for um, integration tools and how to make their company more digitally trans transformed. And um, reach out to us, send me an email, um, you know, let me know what you're struggling with. And, you know, we can set up some one-on-one -on -one meetings and we can talk about how to, how to, you know, better leverage your environments and your, your sales channels and, and making sure that we're putting the right technologies in front of you. Um, and this is a quote from one of our customers um, that kind of talks about that, you know, BizWeaver will grow with us as the marketplace and platforms demand a dynamic connection to SAP Business One. So, um, you know, as, as things are changing, um, you know, maybe you're on Shopify today and tomorrow you want to put it on to um, WooCommerce. All we have to do is change the connections. It's not like you're reinvesting in a whole new integration. Um, so that's one of the things that, uh, you know, our customers are really um, seeing. And the other thing is, is that SAP is seeing this and they've awarded us the top innovation partner um, because of it, because they see how, you know, our passion for technology and our focus around our customer's success um, really kind of shines through. Um, and, you know, all of that is really kind of tied down to us really focusing on the four C's and, and making sure that, you know, we're helping you with your growth strategies.